Welcome or welcome back at C Square. In this lesson, we will talk about inequalities, and we notice here we have a different inequality sign. The first one says um, less than. The second one means less or equal. So you be careful. Two meanings. The third one, this one, greater than. And the last one means greater or equal. So we read all these signs from left to right most of the time. And let's see how we solve an inequality. And that is my first example here. That says x minus 15 greater or equal 7. You want to get rid of the minus 15. So similar with equation, we're going to add 15. And we have to add on both sides. And we end up with x greater or equals 22. This is what we call the solution set. You can see something like this. Raster form is called x when x is greater or equals 22. And the last thing I'm going to show you is how you graph the solution set on a number line. So we're going to draw a number line. And on the number line, I'm going to put 22 uh, right here. I'm going to fill the dot. Why you fill the dot? Because you have the equal sign. So whenever you have greater or equal or less or equals, when you have the equal sign, you have to fill in the dot like this. And now I'm going to shade the side that shows us number that are greater or equals 22, which is the right side. Number greater than 22 are 23, 24, and so on, which are on the right side of 22. And uh, that's it for A. B, very similar. We're going to need to solve uh, this inequality. And I'm going to subtract 7 to get rid of this plus 7. The same thing on the right side. So we end up with x less than 3 minus 7 is negative 4. Raster form, x when x less than negative 4. And the last thing, we're going to do the number line. We're going to have 4 in the middle. And you notice it's an empty dot. Whenever we have greater or less, you have to do an empty dot. And then we're going to shade the left side. Because this is the moment where the number are less than negative 4. And let's put negative 4 here. Let's move to the next uh, part of the lesson. In this one, we'll see that you can also subtract or add terms that contain variable from each side. Like in this case here, the first step you want to do is to subtract 5x to get rid of these 5x. We have to do the same thing on the other side to keep this statement as it was. And we end up here with negative 7 less or equal 6x minus 5x, that is x. Okay, now we want to read the statement starting with x. So I'm going to rewrite x and then you notice how the sign looks like. It's going to be the same here, right? And open towards the x and then negative 7. So negative 7 less or equals x is... Uh, and uh, the second statement, which equivalent statement, which is an equivalent statement, is x greater or equals negative 7. This is the solution set. Uh, raster form x when x is greater or equals negative 7. And the number line, by now you know, I'm going to plot negative 7. And I'm going to shade to the right of negative 7, because those are the numbers that are greater than negative 7. Uh, next part of the lesson, we're going to take a look to what's happened with inequality when you multiply by positive or negative. So let's take a look to the positive. When you multiply by a positive number, and in this case, I multiply by 4, this inequality, 2 less than 3, I end up with 8 less than 12. If you notice, the sign stays the same, does not change. However, 
when you multiply by a negative. Let's see what's happened. We have the same inequality, 2 less than 3. I multiply by negative 4. So that becomes negative 8. And you notice the sign change. It's greater than negative 12. So that is the very important thing. When you multiply or divide by a negative number, the inequality symbol changes. Don't forget to do that. So let's see some example here. And the first one here, I have 2x less or equal 6. So I want to solve for x. So I'm going to have to divide by 2 to get rid of these two. I'm going to divide on the other side. I end up with x less or equals 3. This is the solution set. Uh, the raster form x when x is less or equals 3 and the number line three fill it and the left side let's take a look to b where we have x over 2 greater or equal 7 we want to get rid of these two so you're going to multiply by 2 don't forget to do the same on the other side and we have x greater or equals 14. This is the solution set. The raster form. And let's do the number line. Again, 14. And then number greater than 14 are on the right of 14. The last one in this uh, part of the lesson, we have 2 over 3, 2 thirds, x less than negative 5. I want to get rid of these 2 over 3. The simplest way is to multiply by the reciprocal 3 over 2. So these guys cancel out and we have x less than negative 5 times 3, negative 15 over what I want to point out here, even though this one is negative, the sign does not change. Okay, You change the sign only if you multiply or divide by a negative number. So in this case, we multiply by a positive number, 3 halves. So let's see the uh, number line. Uh, empty that. Negative 15 over 2 and the number less then that guy on the right of it. <coughs> um, Sometimes you have to do multiple steps to solve an inequality, like in this example. My first step here will be to add 14, because I want to can cancel out this minus 14. So we have negative 12x less than 22 plus 13, 36. And here we divide by negative 12 to get rid of this negative 12. Of course, you're going to divide by negative 12 on the other side. And this is the case that I just said a couple minutes ago. We divide by a negative number, so we have to switch the sign. It was less than becomes greater than, and 36 divided by 12 is negative 3. This is the solution set for this inequality or raster form x when x is greater than negative 3 and the number line empty dot and then uh, the right of negative 3 but very important don't forget to change the sign when you divide by a negative number or you multiply by a negative number If you have grouping symbol, parentheses, you have to remove them first and simplify, like in this example. 3 times 2x, 6x. 3 times 1, uh, 3. Don't forget the minus. Three. Plus 5, less or equals 3x plus 5. So we eliminate the parentheses. We remove the parentheses. Now we're going to combine the like terms, these two numbers on the left side so we have 6x plus 2 less or equals 3x plus 5 
And now we only eliminate X on one side. The easy and the best, in my opinion, is to eliminate the 3X on the right side. Of course, we have to subtract 3X on the other side. So we have here 3X plus 2 less or equals 5. We want to get rid of the plus 2, minus 2 then, on both sides, obviously. And we have 3x less or equals 3. And the last step, we want to get rid of these 3, 3 times x, so we're going to divide by 3. And we have x less or equals 3 over 3 it's, is 1. So this is the solution set. Raster form, x when x is less or equals 1. And the number line. Now I'm going to fill in at 1. And this is the uh, solution set number less than 1. One special case here when the inequality has the solution set, the set of all real numbers. Let's take a look like this one. Uh, by now, you know, we have to do the distributive property. So we have 6x minus 2x minus 10, right? Distributive property, greater or equals. Distributive property on the other side. And we have 4x minus 14. 6x minus 2x, we combine these two guys, we, and we get 4x minus 10, greater or equals 4x minus 14 and let's say you want to get rid of this 4x so therefore you're going to subtract 4x whatever you do on the right side you have to do on the left side these two guys cancel out and we notice here they cancel out also so we're going to have just negative 10 greater or equals negative 14. so now i'm going to look to this statement and we have two choices is a true statement or a false statement in this case negative 10 greater or equals negative 14 this is a true statement in this case we said the solution set is the set of all real number so all real numbers in other words you can think about any number one to ten thousand plug it in and you'll see this statement is true of course it can be a negative number also negative one negative ten thousand you plug it in and you get a true statement uh, another way to see this solution in raster form, x, when x belongs to, that is the meaning of this sign, to real numbers. This is the R that represents the set of real number. Um, the picture will look interesting. This is the number line. And you will see a second line on top of the number line. Two overlapping line that shows us all real numbers. And the last example in this lesson is that moment when the solution set is the empty set, no solution for an inequality. So let's take a look to this example. And by now, uh, we know we have to do distributive property 2x minus 4x minus 20 less than 6x minus 18 minus 8x minus 2 so we notice these two guys here we can combine and when you get negative 2x minus 20 here we can combine the terms that have x's 6x minus 8x negative 2x also we can combine these two gentlemen and we get negative 20 and similar with the previous uh, problem you may want to add 2x to get rid of these minus 2x. We're going to do the same thing here. And then you notice we end up with negative 20 less than negative 20. And this is a false statement. Negative 20 is equal with negative 20. So this is a false statement. In this moment, we say no solution. Or solution does not exist. Or empty set. And remember, this sign means the same thing, empty set. Uh, if you enjoy this lesson, don't forget to click the like button and come back on C-Square for more help. Thank you.